Hey guys, Phil here, and I just had a quick little tip that uh, you may not have realized, and and it's kind of cool and makes things a little easier for you. So this is uh, surfacing using VPR, and so I've got this scene set up with a car, and I've made everything all the same kind of flat gray color in this case, but I've already named all of the surfaces uh, while I was working on the model. And so I'm going to switch on the VPR. You can see not a whole lot happens. But if you use shift and click on any of the surface names, the surface editor opens up with that surface already selected. So now I can come in here, I can add some transparency, and I can add a little bit of specularity and some reflection. Not too much reflection. <laughs> Oops, just a bit of reflection. And then I can, when I'm done with the glass, I can shift click on the body and it automatically switches to the body. And then I can start to add, I don't know, let's make this uh, just silver so we can just add some spec and add a lot of reflection. Okay, not too much reflection. And, uh, I'm going to right click on this to change it from RGB to a hue saturation value and I can drop the value down a little bit. Right, maybe that's a little too much reflection. <laughs> but you get the point. Uh, I can do the same thing with this. Add a little reflection and some transparency. And the tires, it's the tire sides, and make them real dark gray. There's nothing that's totally black, so it'll be real dark gray. Maybe a little bit of speck and a tiny bit of reflection. And that's just the sides, so we'll have to get the tread as well. In fact, I can just copy that over and paste it. Maybe reduce the uh, smoothing a bit. So now that's some of the exterior parts. So what happens if I want to get the interior? I can't shift click on that because it gets the glass. So the solution for that is to turn off EPR temporarily and I'll switch the camera view to perspective. And I can zoom in there and zoom in all the way until the camera is actually, or the, the virtual camera is actually inside the car. And I can turn VPR back on, and now I can shift click on stuff. So I've already named these with the correct colors that they should be. This one should be black, so I'll make it a very dark gray. And give it maybe a little bit of spec, very little gloss. Okay, and then we'll right click on this and we're going to make it blue. So I'll just click on there and pick a nice shade of blue for it. It's looking pretty good and give it a little bit of spec. And of course a tiny bit of reflection since everything reflects a little bit. And you can turn that off a little bit. It's easier to rotate around when the uh, when the VPR is turned off. Makes it very hard to see if you're trying to rotate the screen around with the VPR on all the time. So let's rotate around. So let's try and get some of this dashboard area. Okay. So I can turn the VPR back on. I can shift click on some of these. This is uh, black plastic, or plastic black as I've named it. So we'll bring that way down to a low value, make it very dark gray. And since it's plastic, we'll give it a lot of specularity and a very high gloss, some reflection. And then we're, we have a similar one for these edges around here. And that, oh, that is actually chrome. So I'll give that 
a lot of reflection. And so it's looking pretty good. So that's just a quick little tip. Uh, some people may not have realized that you can shift click and open the surface editor and it'll go directly to whatever it is that you want. Of course, VPR has to be on. So just click around, get everything you need. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And see you later.